What's going on guys? My name is James, or thanks see ya, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Yogbox adventure. And uh, yeah, welcome back everyone. How is everyone? I hope you're all well and everything. Uh, yeah, it's been a little while since I've done one of these, so I do apologise, as usual. Uh, but I'm sure you guys will forgive me, because it's been a pretty crazy last few weeks or so. Well, last week or so, because we actually reached the milestone of 100,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So uh, yeah, I'm actually going to talk about that kind of thing in this particular episode and uh, the plan I actually have for the next episode or two is I'd really really like to get away from this particular area just for a little bit so I was kind of thinking that we would go exploring that direction over the sea and um, yeah we'd go and try and find some new areas some new land and then maybe do a bit of dungeon crawling that kind of thing a bit of exploration uh, I'd really like to get some more relics because obviously I've run out of relics completely and I think that I have a few more recipes and stuff that I could do with finding but yeah, we, we've got a little bit of an issue. Uh, it's, it's very, very strange, but basically, I spent probably about an hour, an hour or two building, and then I've just come back to it, and my building has reset itself. Has this ever happened to anyone else? Because it's a little bit weird, um, and I, I really don't know why it's done it. But basically what the situation was, and I actually... Ow! God damn it! Oh, no! Where's my sword? Where's my sword? Oh, I'm gonna pick you to death. Look what you've done. You've made a big hole in my ground. Um, but yeah, it's it's really, really weird. Like, I, I, I don't know why it's done it at all, but basically what I did was I was working over in this, this area. Now, I'm sure you guys know my plans for this, and I actually did implement quite a few of them, but it seems to have just reset itself back to how it was before I actually started playing in that session, which is very, very weird. Like, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm completely confused, but... I suppose I'll talk you through what I did, <laughs> just because just because I think I actually showed this last episode, so it's a little bit weird why it's actually done it again, but I actually took away the Crucible of Souls from these two areas just so it would stop producing this, um, because I, I haven't set it up yet or whatever, so I, I did actually set that all up properly, and then I had an area here where I actually piped it through. Now, this room in here, it was like in this way, was my Viz storage area, which was obsidian lined, and then I came in here and... Um, it was like a huge building and then I had like a higher level up here and I used this pickaxe to basically harvest it out because this has a really awesome 9x9, nine nine, um, sorry, 3x3 three three radius. So it's really, really quick and easy to, to make some inroads. But as I've said, it seems to have reset itself, which is really, really weird. And I don't know why. That's extremely frustrating, but never mind. Uh, what I will do is I will do this again off screen um, because I don't know like I think with my Yogbox series especially because it's ran for over like 70 episodes or whatever uh, including season one a lot of people really really like the adventure side to it and they like the exploring and the finding and the the fighting and all that stuff so uh, I'm kind of unsure as to how much building and stuff that I want to keep on camera um, but I could do a little bit maybe at some point but Anyway, we're still going to stick with the plan, and we're actually going to go and do a little bit of exploring somewhere else today. So, uh, yeah, the plan is to get a little bit suited and booted, sort of repair my gear and stuff, because uh, I actually have pretty pretty broken stuff. So I'm going to get rid of these goggles and put these somewhere safe. And, uh, yeah, I thought we'd just go and do a bit of exploring. And the reason why... I, I hear you asking why, James. Why? Uh, well, the reason why is because I have a lot to talk about. Uh, a lot of really cool stuff that I want to discuss today uh, and kind of want to freestyle on. And it's something that I, I do a lot of in my Yogbox Let's Play. And I'm sure you guys who have watched this for a long time uh, would know that I kind of enjoy doing that thing. So what we're going to do here, just we're going to sort of store all this stuff away just so we don't lose it. Um... And then we are going to basically get prepared for a little bit of a voyage. So, um, yeah, let's get rid of that. Uh, what else can we put in here? Let's get rid of all the mob drops, because we don't need you. And then we've got some more tools and stuff. So, this is... The thing is, like, this is the weird thing, because when I was in that recording session, I made myself this Thormium pickaxe and this Thormium shovel, and it's efficiency 5. So I did use it to dig up all this stuff, but it just seems to have disappeared. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, we're going to get rid of that pickaxe there. Uh, Fortune 3. Uh, actually, no, you know what? We're going to we're gonna keep that. Repair that. Because it's a very good pickaxe. It's not very durable at all, but it's a very good pickaxe. So I don't think we need the Fortune 3. Actually, you know what? Let's take it anyway. 
Uh, cloud boots, just in case we need some jumping. We've got lots of food. Uh, we could do with some wood. Got wood. Because you never know when we might need some more torches. Uh, we've got this sword. I'm actually going to um, enchant this just one level to whatever. Sharpness one, that'll do. Um, because then when I can enchant it, then I can repair it. So we've got more stuff on it. Although I don't really use that sword, to be honest. It's, it's really useful for, like, jumping over stuff. Um, so, yeah, we've got a few blocks, which is going to be useful. We've got ourselves a shovel, we've got ourselves a pick, uh, we've got ourselves an axe. And, uh, yeah, okay, so I'm kind of thinking that I will just go and do some, like... I'll probably jump cut it because I don't really know what's going to happen, but... As I said, the theory, in, in theory, is to... Oh, ninja rat! Jesus! Uh, is to go over the water and try and see what we can find. So, yeah, where is this guy? Urgh, guy. Damn you. Ooh, we've got loads of wheat. Let me just harvest this very quickly. Harvesting my wheat, yeah. I'll get the seeds and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, as I mentioned, I've got a lot of stuff to talk about in this particular episode. Uh, and I really, really wanted to make this video uh, to kind of talk about it. So, I don't know how long this will go on for. Ow, god damn you. Um, but I'm going to... Ow, what the hell? I'm uh, stuck. I don't have a hoe on me, so you know what? Let's just leave that one unhoed. Because I'll, I'll do that later. But, yeah, I've got loads of stuff to talk about. Especially about, like, the 100,000 subscriber milestone and that kind of thing. I've also got some news and bits and pieces. But, uh, yeah. I'm actually probably going to start talking about that when we get over the water to some new land. So, let's just put these seeds somewhere else. Uh, let's make this into bread, actually. Let's make it into bread. There we go. I'm amazed that they haven't made it so you have to bake bread yet. Like, that would make more sense to me in Minecraft, but what can you do, eh? What can you do? Actually, you know what? We've got loads of really cool exploring gear, so let's use it. Um, where's that thing that we used to use? Where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. Excellent. Can I repair this? No, I can't repair that. That's a shame. But anyway, it's got half on it, so that's kind of useful. Um, what else have we got in terms of cool gear? Uh, regeneration strength. Take a few potions. Um, hmm. Take a bucket. You never know when you might need a bucket. I'm actually going to fill that with water, and uh, we're probably going to go from there. So, right. Let's head on out. I've got a water pool here somewhere, don't I? No, it seems to have disappeared. Okay, interesting. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I'm going to go over in this direction. That's kind of the plan. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So anyway, whilst I do this, um, I kind of just wanted to say a massive thank you, really, to everyone who supported the 100,000 subscriber video. Uh, it was actually really, 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 really cool. Um, because the amount of support I had in that particular you know, video. I get lots of support in every video, but as like a sort of a video where everyone was talking about the same thing, uh, the comments were incredible. I like, genuinely, uh, I think praise is something that is often a little bit. I don't want to say overused on YouTube, but I think like you can become quite. Um, what's the word? Sort of used to it, I suppose, as a viewer. I mean, I, I as a viewer as well. Uh, I watch YouTubers and they make thank you videos and this happens a lot. But as I kind of mentioned in that particular video, to hear that kind of praise on something that I've achieved is incredible. And uh, a little bit of a story, actually, yesterday, uh, I was really, really bored in the house and I was like, you know what, I want to get out of the house for a bit because I stayed in the house all of Sunday. So I went to the pub down the road at like one in, one in the afternoon and uh, I just went and had like an orange juice or whatever because it's a little bit early to drink. Um, but yeah, I had an orange juice, and I want to get that crystal there. Damn it! Uh, I went and got an orange juice, and I, I kind of just sat there and read through the comments. And uh, I was... Yeah, wow. <laughs> I, uh, I was amazed. Like, the, the comments were so kind. It was absolutely incredible. Wow, five crystals. Nice. Uh, and I just sat there for, for ages and just read through every single comment and it was it was so overwhelming that the amount of support and the kind words and the you know the positivity that came from it and uh, yeah I've got to say to anyone who left a comment or whatever or just in general really just once again thank you so much uh, it's it's so cool <laughs> honestly it's so cool to have that kind of support and I'm extremely extremely lucky and grateful yes 
How many more? Yeah, these are good. These are good. This is some good crystal harvesting. But yeah, okay, I actually want to talk about some bits and pieces like that in a second. I actually want to talk a little bit about networks as well, uh, because a lot of people have been talking about the kind of machinima thing and this, that, and the other, and loads of networks, there's been loads of drama. So I kind of just wanted to tell you guys sort of the real, the real truths to get, sort of, you know, um, because I think that might be a good thing to do. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this sword here and I'm just going to zip across this water as quickly as I can, try and find some land, and then I will meet you guys back when I do. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh hey bro, I hear you like fresh chunks. <laughs> yeah, so we're here in like a, a little fresh chunk here. What the hell are you? Have I seen you before? You're one funny looking birdie. <laughs> but yeah, we're not actually that far away. We're only 600 blocks currently, so we found a desert biome. I'm just going to keep going basically and see what I can find and come up with. I kind of want this to be an exploring episode where I just go and locate some new stuff. So instantly here we have like some desert ruins. I don't think there's anything in here though. Um, so yeah, anyway, to kind of continue with how I was talking uh, a little bit, well, a few seconds ago, uh, in terms of like the support and stuff, it was incredibly overwhelming um, in terms of the, the comments and the kind words and all that stuff. It was amazing to read. And um, yeah, what what an amazing set of inspirational comments. It was so cool, uh, especially for a milestone like that. Um, this is the thing, like, and this is the thing that I struggle with, like, mentally. Uh, it's, it's when I... Oh... Are we just in, like, a random sand biome? Because I might need to skip across to another one. Oh, no, okay, it carries on. Um, so, yeah, this is the kind of thing that I, I struggle with here, because, like, when I, when I watch YouTube, because I've not had a YouTube channel for relatively that long compared to some people. So, I've had a YouTube channel for just over a year. However, like, I've only really been seriously doing YouTube as, like, a, a daily thing for probably, like, seven months now, maybe even less. Um, so, like, some people have had their channels for years, and for me, like, when I channel hop to random people and, you know, people that I like watching, uh, nowadays when I go over to some channels, there are channels that I, I used to watch loads of and I used to really, really enjoy, and then I go back to their channel, and, like, on paper, my channel is... Ooh, what's generating? <laughs> uh, but on paper... Ooh, Millionaire Village. Uh, on paper, mine is more successful in a way quicker time period and that's really really bizarre um because i just you have memories i suppose of um you know things and you see bits and pieces but then to go and revisit those uh, it's, it's it's very humbling i suppose although having said that you know it still happens where i go on someone's channel and i'm like oh my god you are successful uh, and that still happens you know, I'm still a relatively, and I use that word relatively because obviously I'm very lucky, but I'm still relatively a pretty small channel, believe it or not, uh, in terms of, like, uh, views per video. I know some people can get, like, you know, 250,000 views every single video. I, I can't do that uh, at the moment anyway, but, um, you know, I, I get a decent amount of views from the people who enjoy watching my stuff, which is kind of, kind of you know, what, what, what counts in the end of the day, you know, people coming back to my videos time and time again, which is obviously amazingly awesome. What is that? Ooh, so I think we found our first little structure here. Oh my good, raid it and see what goodies we can have. Oh, it's a little bit jerky at times, so apologies for that. It's because we're actually generating completely fresh chunks, so... The hell is this? This is like some mad-ass spawning thing. Come at me, bro! Come at me, bro! I'm using the wrong sword. Oh, there we go. God damn it, stop strafing me. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like, it's it's overwhelming. It's really, really cool. <laughs> and, I, you know, I still get it, as I've mentioned. Ow! I still can go to someone like, I don't know, Captain Sparkle's channel or, or Skyder's Minecraft and just be like, oh my god. But um, in terms of, like, some channels that I used to watch and really, really enjoy, it's, it's incredible to see... Um, how well I've done you know, in terms of popularity and in terms of you know just just support, very very cool. But um, okay, we're gonna need some torches. I don't think I've been in one of these kind of dungeons before, so this might be a slightly new dungeon. Oh, melon! I like melons. I could actually use those seeds. Ooh, random crystals for the win. Hmm, this is a very strange setup we've got here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, oh, it goes up as well. Did we come from here? 
Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, but yeah, in terms of like, also, right, I'm going to change the subject completely now. And I want to talk about networks. And I, I, I promise, like, because some people might just not care at all about networks. So I'm going to keep this fairly short. Uh, but there's been a lot of, ow, god damn you, leave me alone. <clears throat> there's been a lot of talk about networks over the past couple months ago. Namely, the whole machinima thing. So, I'm going to break it down for you very, very easily. Okay, so Numero Uno. Machinima is not a startup network. So, it's a fully supportive network, basically. Uh, whereas other networks, um, like the Game Station or Maker Studios or whatever, um, or Yaosh, or I, I don't know, just an example. Ooh, more random crystals. Uh, they are still being able to funded by, being able like to be funded by sort of support and startup and investment and that kind of thing. It makes no difference, really, apart from the fact that they've got a little bit more cash. <laughs> but uh, effectively, what was happening with Machinima. Uh, was when all of these big YouTubers uh, and to some extent smaller YouTubers uh, started getting other network offers, so like higher CPMs because they could afford it because they're on startup money. Um, Machinima said, you know what, we really want to keep you on our network, so we're going to offer you a higher CPM contract um, for like you know the normal basically. So in case you're wondering, like CPM basically means. Uh, you get a certain amount of money for a certain amount of views. Kind of simple, really. And that's a static figure. So you will always get exactly the same amount um, for the right... Ooh! Zombie spawner. Nice. Uh, you'll get exactly the same amount for every single view. So, um, I'm going to take the rare ones. I don't really need the uncommon ones. Ooh, exceptional. That's good. So, yeah, that's kind of the situation that was happening. And uh, a lot of people got a really, really good deal. But the problem was, is that because they were having such a good deal and they were getting, like, a lot of money uh, for a thousand views, they were actually losing money on their channel. So I'm just going to use some random numbers here. I can't really use official numbers, so I'm going to sort of use some easy-to-understand numbers. Uh, these might be, these are, like, highly inflated or, or deflated or whatever. Um, but, okay, so let, let's take it, like, I don't know. For a thousand views on your channel, let's just say for argument's sake, now this is a bit unrealistic, but let's just say uh, you make $10 for a thousand views on your channel. Now some people only get payment for monetizable views. So there is a difference between a view and a monetizable view. Basically a view is just a standard view and a monetizable view is a view that has an advert playing on it. So these guys who got a higher contract were actually getting paid for every single view even if there was not a monetizable view on it. So in case you're wondering about the averages, uh, they're actually kind of bad at the moment because for me anyway, only a third of my views are actually monetizable views. Um, and they haven't really quite got the, the mobile view algorithm, although I'm sure you guys see mobile views on my, my videos. And um, yeah, I see them as well, but Currently, as of yet, that's not part of any contract that I am signed to. Uh, no, not really too much of a big deal, to be honest, at the moment. I'm just glad people watch my videos, to be honest. I can't really complain, but... Yeah, that's, that's kind of the situation. So, what was happening is if their channel was generating um, $10 for a thousand views, um, they were basically, say, in their contract, getting paid... I don't know. Let me think. $12 for a thousand views. So, although their channel was only making $10 in their contract, they were being paid $12. So, in fact, for every thousand views, they were losing $2. Um, so, although, like, I obviously can't talk about kind of individuals or whatever, just a bit of insider information, because I have been talking to Machinima and stuff, because the one thing about Machinima is they're very good at partner support and that kind of thing. So, I will let you know that some channels were losing in excess of $75,000 per month just to kind of let you guys know. <laughs> so obviously that was an unsustainable business model. Um, I was not offered one of those contracts. Um, it was mainly the bigger YouTube channels. So anyone who's a huge YouTube channel that's left Machinima, you can kind of guesstimate that they were offered that kind of contract. Um, so they personally made a lot of money, like a lot of money. Um, but for the vast majority of Machinima partners, like me, for example, I was not offered that. Uh, and I haven't had a contact contract termination or anything like that. I, you know, I, I don't know, but... Uh, the future of my channel in terms of channel and, and network and whatever, I don't know. Ooh. We generating? We generating, bro? 
Maybe. Uh, but yeah, the future of my channel in terms of like Machinima or another network, I don't know just yet, to be honest. Um, I'm still with Machinima. I'm happy with Machinima. Um, but you never know what the future might hold. You kind of just have to do the thing that's right for you, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm still on the same old contract. I'm not really at the moment that fussed with it, to be honest. It's it's a decent contract and um, you know I'm happy with it. But the thing is, a lot of people kicked off about like these sort of money whores and all that, but I mean, realistically, if YouTube is your job, right, and let's just say, for argument's sake, you make, I don't know, let's just guess a number, I don't know, like, let's keep it low because I, I don't want to start causing, like, bits and pieces, but let's just say, you, on average, you make $10 a month from YouTube, which is, uh, for a job, obviously, just completely un, un sort of, and that's never going to happen if it's your job, but if you make $10 and all of a sudden someone comes around and says, oh, yeah, we're not going to pay you that anymore because we can't, uh, we're going to pay you $5. You're just gonna be like, mm, thank you, but no thanks. So people have just moved on to different networks, and that's fine. That's no big deal. I think this whole drama alert rubbish has been taken so far out of proportion, and, and it's just been blown up. But yeah, it's no big deal, really. I I think that a lot of people really overreacted about it, <laughs> which is kind of what I what I my experience was from being like an observer. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've been contacted by other networks and stuff. I've had some good deals, but you've kind of got a question if it's too good to be true. And I think there's something generating here because I'm slightly jerky. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. But yeah, the YouTube money world and all that stuff is very complicated, to be honest. It's uh, it's basically... It, oh, wow. Wow, Incan Temple of Awesome. The hell is this madness? Uh, but yeah, also, like, other networks nowadays... Um, they actually don't offer a fixed CPM deal, which is X amount for X amount. They actually offer you a revenue split. Um, so that means that you will make a proportion, percentage proportion, normally a, a leading percentage, so like 60-40 or 70-30 or whatever, uh, of, wow, this is cool as hell, uh, of like your channel earnings and stuff like that. So that's what other networks offer. There's so many networks and they all offer different things. So it's very difficult sometimes to, to kind of work out what's best for you and your channel and stuff. But... Yeah, <laughs> you got to read the fine print, I suppose, with these kind of things. We'll see. I don't know, it's, it's like it's such a big deal, like... I've got to be careful with what I say, because I don't want to get myself into any necessary arguments and whatever, and I, I'm not the kind of person that starts, like, beef with other people or whatever, but there have been a few large YouTubers that have been really, really ungracious, in my opinion anyway, um, with leaving Machinima. Um... I'm not going to mention any names, but there was a certain parody song that was released uh, recently, uh, which was uh, called 50 Ways to Leave Machinima. And, um, you know, I, I'm going to say it just because I think that the guy who owns the channel is a, a mature adult, and um, so am I. <laughs> but um, the guy's called Woody's Gamertag. Now, nothing against Woody's Gamertag. He, he actually has a really good channel. I, I used to watch his channel a lot uh, when I was sort of more into Call of Duty and stuff, and... Um, I actually really enjoyed his content, and I still do occasionally watch his stuff. I think he's a great YouTuber, but he released this song, which, in my opinion, seemed really, really ungracious, um, because it was kind of talking about, oh, Mishima doesn't want me anymore and stuff like that, but I don't know. It seems very, very... Where the hell am I going here? Is this actually leading anywhere? I don't know. To, to cut to the chase, basically, I, I thought it was a little bit ungracious for a company that has paid him... Uh, has been able to give him the opportunity to make a lot of money. And I'm talking, I, I, I'm not going to say any numbers, but it's a very, very comfortable living. Uh, that has given him that, Whoa, sheep, what the hell? What is this madness? Oh, may sheep, may sheep. Uh, but yeah, has, has given him the opportunity to, to make as much money as he had off, off working hard on his content. Um, and it just seemed like a bit of a, a cheap shot, in my opinion. Like, the song was actually really good, <laughs> to be honest. But it just seemed a little bit sort of unneeded. That's my opinion of it. Like, no no disrespect to, to the channel or Woody or whatever, because I actually think he's a good YouTuber. But I don't know. I, I myself wouldn't have done that if I would have had a contract termination or whatever. Um, it just seemed a little bit unneeded, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, obviously, best of luck to... To Mr. Woody's gamer tag and stuff. Uh, there's been a few people that have changed networks actually. Uh, Captain Sparkles also. He's gone to IGN. Um, lots of lots of the Call of Duty channels have been uh, affected. To be honest, like, where the hell am I going? Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of the uh, Call of Duty channels have been affected. Um, 
it's sad because like Call of Duty at one point was such a dominant force on I've run out of stuff. Oh damn it. Oh, I should have got more coal. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, what I think I might do is actually uh, go and run out of this maze and get myself some more some more coal if I could find my way out. So, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll just jump out of it quickly if I can find the hole. I'll go and find some more resources and then I'll carry on with uh, where we were. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when I find the way out. So, uh, yeah, it's somewhere here. Is it this way? Uh, this may take some time. Actually, I might just, can I just dig up. So much easier. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, okay. Let's um, put some stone bricks down. Oh, eins, zwei, drei. Oh, now I'm in another dark area. Oh, God. You know what? That's the easy way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fell out. Right, so... Okay, this Inca Tank was awesome. Man, I could just dig straight underground and screw this whole maze system. I don't know. Let's go and find some coal. But yeah, there's been a lot of networks and stuff that have changed, but... I think people should just relax. Uh, it's no big deal, really. Uh, it's just a case of doing what's best for your channel. And um, I can understand, like, if, if, if these big YouTubers or whatever have made a serious amount of money off YouTube, they're not going to want to change that. Therefore, they're going to move to a different network. That's good business sense, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. It's a complicated world. It's a complicated world, especially. Oh, God damn it. Ghosty ghost. Mm, I could do with some food. But anyway, right, <laughs> let's change the subject for that, because I'm aware I talked about that for a long time. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, James, don't care. Maybe some of you guys did care, because it, it's interesting. Like, I find a lot of the time, especially with being someone who has a channel, there's a lot of sort of insider bits and pieces that a viewer doesn't necessarily see. And I don't mean anything shady, but I just mean like the the preparations and that kind of thing, uh, you know, in terms of the, the making of videos and the uploading and this, that and the other, it's, it is an interesting world at times, I think, um, and uh, it, it's very cool, I think, personally, uh, you know, I would have liked to have known a little bit more about it before I got into it, because I, I could have made a lot of better decisions uh, in terms of content and this, that and the other, but I didn't really have anyone that was telling me about it, so, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, you know, it's kind of, it is kind of cool because I, I'm i kind of at the stage now where... Oh, God. No, we're okay, we're going to go down here and look for some coal. What the hell is this? Can you hear that? What the hell is that? <laughs> These are jack-o'-lanterns. Why are they jack... What the... Jesus hell! What the hell are you?! Oh my god, what the... <laughs> Goblins! <laughs> what the f... I have... What? Oh, are you kidding? Where the hell am I? Oh my god, I have... In my... Squid! Oh god, there's a squid! <laughs> what the hell is this place? Oh my... What? I have never seen these mobs before in my entire life. Where the hell am I? This is amazing! Oh my god, I, I need some coal to disable that spawner. Um, ow! Stop hitting me, bro! Chill out! Oh my lord. Alright, I'm gonna get this coal. This is why I love the Yog Box, because you could literally be playing, and even like 20 odd episodes in, you will still find something completely new. And that's exactly what I've done. I found an Incan temple that I've never seen before. <laughs> I've fallen into this random goblin pit. Oh my god, this is amazing. I love your box. It's so cool. But okay, right, we're gonna we're gonna do some exploring here before we get brutally savaged by goblins. Oh, this stuff's crazy. Let's get through some of this. Man. This is cool as hell. I've completely forgotten what I was talking about because I just got absolutely ganged. Ow! What the Jesus Christ! What are those green things? I want to see the green thing. Ow, oh, come on. Oh, these vines are so annoying. Stop screaming at me. Chill out. Oh, I thought this was like... I thought it was a ghast initially, because it sounds a little bit like a ghast. Man, these things are mad. Maybe it's just because I haven't been underground as much as, like, I probably should have. Because I've done lots of digging and tunneling and stuff, but I, 
I must confess I haven't done as much mining as I normally would do in sort of a Minecraft playthrough, but... <laughs> so... Oh, I'm gonna have to break the chest, uh, break the spawner, because uh, I'm gonna have to break it to get to the chest, but... Oh, so there's, <laughs> there's nothing really in it, but in terms of like a discovery... Squid! Urgh, squiddy squid squid! Urgh, squid! Urgh. Man! This place is a mess with the water. Like, I'd love to find one of these that isn't completely, like, crazily spawned. Oh, I can hear some more. Yeah, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to um, make this episode, like, a two-part or whatever. So I'm going to probably jump cut at some point and stop and uh, come back to this. Because this is going to be a long episode, I think. I kind of feel... I have no idea where I am. Ow! Man, this is mental. I wonder if there's any good chests in here. Something's generating. What's under here? Ah, it goes on. It's deep. It's really deep. Is deep. Maybe this is one that hasn't been completely ruined by water. Yeah. Wow. This is cool as hell. Ow. God. It's really annoying as well. These things are fast. But, okay. Let's keep going. Uh, there's a spawn down there. So we're going to do a little quick, quick, shh. Disable! Ooh, disable! Disable! Ah, disable! <laughs> oh god damn it, not disable! Oh, where are you? Ooh, Jesus. Man, these lavas are mad. Ah. Alright, let's keep going, let's keep going. Oh my god, this is this is not good. This is not good at all. This is, this is, uh. Yeah, because I saw the Jacko lanterns and I was like, what the hell? Is oh my Wow, okay, this is this is this is not good at all. Man, the, if these things are, are this good, like, I would have loved to have had one of these near my house, because the spawner I could have made would have been amazing, like a mob trap. Um, oh, God, there's more. Yeah, the mob trap I could have made from these would have been really seriously cool. Oh, man. I'm trying to get to the spawner. Ah, oh, disabled. Right, let me have a look at this thing. Like a lava. A lava? A caterpillar or something? Amazing. Ow. Sadly, the loot isn't that good, but in terms of, like, a, a, an ender crystal, in terms of, like, a, a place, it's pretty damn awesome, I've got to say. I've got to say. Very cool indeed. There's no, like, central hub, though. I was kind of thinking maybe there would be, like, a... Ooh, what the hell? Oh, there's a mineshaft down here as well. No, I don't really want to go to the mineshaft, but... Yeah, very, very cool find. So, yeah, I'm actually, <laughs> I've completely detoured from what I was actually wanting to do. I actually wanted to go and get some coal. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get some coal. And, uh... Spider boss! Ow! I'm not going to get any coal from there, it seems. Man. Check this place out. Very cool indeed. Very cool indeed. I didn't realise they had a... Because, I mean, obviously you get skeletons and stuff, and but I didn't know you had goblins. <laughs> I like the goblins. The goblins are fun. But okay, right. So, you know what we're going to do? Uh, we're actually, I'm actually probably um, going to end this particular episode here. So, what I'm going to do is get some more coal and then get back up to the surface. And then once we're at the top, we're actually going to go and explore that Mayan temple thingy. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I will actually be continuing with what I'm talking about in the next episode, which is going to be quick for me, but a, a day or two for you. So, I'll meet you guys back. <laughs> And we'll discuss some bits and pieces. Uh, but yeah. Okay, thank you so much for watching, guys. It has been a pleasure. I will meet you back when we're going to go and raid that temple. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya.